So, you've done well for yourself. What? What, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well, I... I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor, are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me, of your own mother. I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette? Or massaged my feet? I'm an old woman. And you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I am so sorry. I am... <laughs> There, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's enough! <laughs> Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly, for everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. What kind of welcome is that, Melvin? You really are a pitiful example of a man. I've just had a bad day. I don't need to be bullied by you right now. Why are you so miserable? I mean, it doesn't make for a dynamic store experience. Well, I live alone. I don't have any real friends to speak of. I don't actually want to know. Okay. You tell me what you need, Trevor. I do not want to get on the wrong side of you.
I don't know where Janet's meeting those young foreigner men, but it ain't in the Yellow Jack Inn. 